Thousands of dollars worth of toys stolen from the Marines Toys for Tots program have been recovered. Police from St. Bernard, Covington and Erlanger joined forces to catch the thieves. And as 9 News reporter Scott Wegener tells us, many of them shared a bond beyond the badge. Photos that you'll see with to paraphrase an old song, you don't tug on Superman's cape, you don't spit into the wind, and you don't mess around with the U.S. Marine Corps. You really think you're going to get away with stealing from us? That's something Nathan Rose and Jesse Simpson may not have figured out if what police are saying about them is true. The two are charged with breaking into the Marines' Toys for Tots storage space and taking off with over $20,000 worth of playthings. Pretty much an outrage. An outrage not just to the police and the community at large, but to one of the most potent branches of the U.S. military past and present members of which are now wearing badges. The uh, lead investigator is a Marine and the uh, crime scene officer that processed the crime scene that day uh, was also a Marine. They told me, you know, we're not going to stop until we catch these guys. When they led the charge in on the uh, search warrant, one of the Covington bike officers, he also was a Marine. The toys allegedly were taken from the Marine St. Bernard warehouse to the suspect's home in Covington. Police say when they feared the cops were on to them, the suspects took the loot back across the river to another warehouse on Vine Street. Almost all of the toys have been recovered thanks to a couple tipsters who saw the stolen goods being moved. And for Sergeant Jonathan Brick, it was a reaffirmation of Simper Fi. As Marines, that's kind of how we work. Scott Wegener, 9 News. St. Bernard police had been planning a fundraiser January 20th to replace the stolen toys. Now that they've been recovered, the community is going ahead with the event called.